Early voting already underway in New York City with primary day in less than a week. And if you haven't made up your mind about who you're voting for, we're going to give you a chance to get to know the candidates a little better. Fox 5's Morgan McKay spoke with all three Democratic politicians hoping to be New York's next governor. By now, you probably know that Governor Kathy Hochul, Congressman Tom Swasey, and New York City public advocate Jamani Williams are all competing in the Democratic primary for governor. So let's just jump right in on where they stand on the issues. In a recent Siena College poll, 92% of voters say crime is a serious problem across the state, and many are looking to their leaders to fix it. For Governor Kathy Hochul seeking a full term this year, she says her focus is delivering on the resources needed. It's about letting them see the presence that we have people on the streets, uh, law enforcement doing their job and making sure that we get the guns off. But public safety is more than just cops on the streets, according to Hogel's opponent on the right, Congressman Tom Swasey. Bail reform, we need to give judges the discretion to consider dangerousness. The New Yorkers are afraid of taking the subway. They're afraid of coming through Penn Station. Uh, so we have got to make people feel safer and we have to address the crime problem. There is no evidence linking bail reform to a rise in crime, but many have claimed it is responsible. The law has been revised twice since first passing in 2019, with Hochul spearheading the most recent changes. Now, she says it's important to see how the revisions are working. Let's see if the reforms we put in place are starting to make a difference. That, that is what I want to do. Hochul's opponent on the left, New York City public advocate Jamani Williams, has pushed back against any changes to bail reform and has insisted the emphasis should be on community prevention programs. While crime might get voters out the door, it's not the only issue they are considering at the ballot box. Inflation has skyrocketed to its highest level since 1981. From gas to rent prices, New York City's affordability is shrinking. Swazi says boosting the city's economy starts with lowering taxes. We have to reduce taxes because people can't afford to live here. We have the highest state and local taxes in America, and we lost the state and local tax deduction. Hochul, on the other hand, is not looking to cut taxes, nor is she considering raising the minimum wage. However, she says she is working to make sure taxes stay at the same level, while also pointing to the suspension of the gas tax, middle class tax cuts, and investments in childcare as proof of her commitment to revitalizing the state's economy. Part of it is getting the access for people to have the good paying jobs being created every day. And that's how you build the middle class. You invest in their education. You give them the skills they need, you bring the jobs, and you connect them. William says affordability starts with being able to pay your rent, pointing to his housing plan and says he is focused on creating a state where small businesses can thrive. Quite frankly, those mid-level small businesses, mom and pop businesses, are more likely to hire the people from their neighborhoods than those big businesses that have been getting this funding and not providing what we need. Early voting already started, but the official primary date is June 28th. I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News.